Welcome my dear students, myself A. Venkatesan. In this video, we are going to learn introduction of MATLAB, some different windows in MATLAB, arithmetic operator with a scalar, MATLAB calculator and display formats. So first we are going to see what is mean by MATLAB. MATLAB stands for the matrix laboratory because it is the basic data element is a matrix. That is, each matrix can be formed in array ways. And the MATLAB can be used for the math computation, modeling and stimulation, data analysis and processing, visualization and graphics, and algorithm development. MATLAB having some different windows. The first one, the command window. Second one, editor window. Third one, help window. Fourth one, launch pad window. Fifth one, command history window. 6th one workspace window and 7th one current directory window. So now we are going to see what is mean by the command window and how to work on the command window. So first of all what is the command window? The command window is the main window and whenever we open the MATLAB is started. The command window is the only visible window and this can be done either closing all other windows. Whenever you have opened this command window in MATLAB it looks like that. Then each command window it starts with the command prompt symbol that is a greater than greater than symbol. So the first one the working for the command window. So to type a command the cursor must be placed next to the command prompt. That is whatever you want to type or whatever you want to use in the command window. So each one must be placed after the command prompt symbol. Once the command is typed and enter key is pressed the command is executed and only the last command is executed everything is executed previously is unchanged for example I take the value of a equal to 5 so using the command window I simply write command prompt symbol after that value a equal to 5 once I put the enter it can be displayed as like that a equal to 5 Suppose once again I take another one variable, once again I take the command prompt symbol b greater than greater than and take the another variable b and equal to 3. Once I put the enter, it will be displayed as like b equal to 3. That is the last command is only executed. The next one, the several commands can be typed in the same line. This done by typing a comma between the commands. Suppose you want to use more variable in a single line then each one can be separated by comma so already we know how to use the a value and b value so now i use the same values in a single command so that is the use the command prompt symbol we use a equal to 5 then comma we write the second one b value that is each one can be separated by comma suppose if you are using more than two a equal to 5 comma b equal to 3 comma c equal to once again 5 if you are enter that a equal to 5 b and c the values are displayed as 1 by 1 so previously typed command can be recalled the command prompt with the upper arrow key when the command is displayed at the command prompt it can be modified if needed and executed so once if you want to know what is the command already we are using in the previous line if you are using the up arrow key and if you want to re recall or if you want to use once again we copy and paste and edit the, the commands. So next point when the command is typed in the command window if enter key is pressed the command is executed and any output of the command is generated is displayed in the command window only. All the commands we are using in the command window is executed and displayed in the command window only. No other window is a possible. For example, I take if you are a equal to 3 plus 3. So the answer will be displayed as the end of the command window only a equal to 6 like that. The most important thing is the next one if using the semicolon. The semicolon is typed at end of the command. The output of the command is not displayed. The typing a semicolon is useful when the result is obvious or known when output is very large. That is mean that 
after entering the variable for example in a command prompt symbol i take a equal to 5 where i put after 5 is a semicolon after press the enter the value of a not displayed in the command window but it is accepted and evaluated but the value will not be displayed in the command window so it is very useful whenever we are obviously well known result and the large result if you are known that you use the semicolon the next one several commands are typed in the same line the output of any of the command will not be displayed suppose for example i take more than three variables in a single line a equal to 5 and b equal to 3 and c equal to 8 i want to display only a and c value no need to display b means the end of the b value put a semicolon suppose i want to display b and c no need to display a means end of a value is semicolon the next one is the percentage symbol it is very useful for the user the symbol percentage is typed at the beginning of the line the line is designated as a command this means that when the enter key is pressed the line is not executed that is the percentage character followed by the text can also be typed after the command so it is very useful for the user for example i uh, create a program so i uh, in a further uh, purpose or any future use we want to recall the name of the program so in this in starting or end of the program or wherever you want to use just we put the percentage symbol then we continue name of the program or some other in uh, in between the programs we are using some technical uh, solutions or technical steps we are following so that uh, steps we call recall in a future purpose so that places also we can use the percentage symbol and type the data or commands whatever you want to recall so that way the percentage symbol is very useful for the user the next one is the clc command the clc command is clears the command window after working the command window for a while the display may be very large suppose the more the results are displayed in the command window you want to clear you want to know the current result only so that time we can use the command window and command prompt symbol then we type clc and after enter the, the all the old result are cleared the current result only have to be displayed the next one is editor window the editor windows used for writing and editing program this windows opened from the file menu in the command window so it is totally different from the command window in the command window you cannot edit any values or any one you can process it. but here we can edit and rewrite the program so whenever you are open this matlab the editor window it's open like that. so when if you open this editor window we are start that here in the name as a function and name of the program then we write the body of the program and finally you should give the end the next one is the figure window the figure window when open automatically when graphics commands are executed and contains the graph created by these commands so after running this program suppose if you are using the command for plotting value or plot x comma y or any graphic signature or whatever in a graph style the figure window after communication it will be displayed commonly the next one is the help window the window contains the help information and this window can be opened from the help menu in the toolbar of any matlab windows and some other window also is there the launchpad window which provides the access to tools demos and documentation command history window it is a logs command sent entered in the command window workspace window it provides the information about the variables that are used and current directory window it shows the files in the current directory so next one the arithmetic operators with the scalars so some basic mathematical operations are we are using in matlab the first one is addition second one subtraction third one multiplication but divisions here we are using two type one is a right division another one is a left division 
and third one is exponential exponential means they are power symbol a square a cube a power n etc so in addition we are using the operator as plus subtraction we are using as usual and multiplication is the only difference here in we are using star symbol the multiplication the right division is we are using the slant of right side and left division is we are using the slant side of left side and the exponential is we are using cap symbol uh, addition and subtraction is obvious multiplication is also there but the right division and left divisions are totally different here for example i take 4 divided by 2 numerator is 4 denominator is 2 means the value is 2 the same one if you are using in a left division it mean that 2 by 4 4 left division 2 means it mean that 2 by 4 it is 0 0.5 that is a difference of the left division and the right division and the next one is exponential so we want to use the power symbol for example i need 2 power 3 value so we know the 2 power 3 value is 8 this can be written as 2 cap 3 so after the command or after in the editor window you can do this enter the result is displayed as 8 now the order of precedence so matlab executes the calculation according to the order of precedence as displayed in a below and as a math mathematics students you will note that the board mass rule so like that uh, the matlab also creating some orders of evaluation so the first preference is given by the parenthesis open parenthesis and closed parenthesis or nested parenthesis or innermost brackets or innermost parenthesis or open closed curl bracket within the parenthesis we are using <coughs> open closed so like that we are creating the first one the second one the exponential symbol that is cap symbol and third one multiplication star and fourth one uh, also third one is the right division the left division and the fourth one is addition and the subtraction so now we are going to see the examples as a matlab calculator using matlab calculator i take this value the after the command prompt symbol 7 plus 8 right division divided by 2 so here as per the order of precedence the right division is the third order so it can be evaluated first so therefore 8 divided by 4 is 2 then we add with the 7 so we can get 11 so next example is within the parenthesis we are using 7 plus 8 divided by 2 so the first priority is for the parenthesis so therefore we can use 7 plus 8 is the first one then we divide by 2 we can get the value is 7.5 and third example is given that 5 cap 3 divided by 2 so here the exponential is the first thing so therefore 5 power 3 is the first evaluation then we divide with the 2 after that we can get the result is 62.5 so next one is the display format so the user can control the display format in matlab displayed output on the screen the output format is a fixed point with the four dis digits or six digits etc whatever we can use so which is the default format of numerical value so the format can be changed with the format command once the format command is entered all output that follows the displayed in the specific format also matlab has several formats for displayed num displaying numbers and detail of these formats can be as follows so the first one is the format short suppose if you want to give only the four decimal of digits we use the command is format short format long if you want to use 14 decimal digits we use the command as format long format short e so this is scientific notation with the four decimal format long e it is a scientific notation with the 15 decimal and format short g it is the best of five digits of the floating point and format long g it is the best of five digits fixed or the floating point and format bank with two decimal digits thank you